On the Mississippi State side, the Bulldogs also enter at 8-4 straight up, but they were better against the spread at 7-5. Of course, most of that came with Nick Fitzgerald at the helm. Kite and Thompson was thrown into the fire with Nick Fitzgerald out of the picture. But these extra practices and this bowl game will be good for him going into the future. The true freshman is 21 of 46 for 261 yards with a couple of touchdowns and an interception. He has proven to be an effective runner with 48 carries for 299 yards and three touchdowns. He'll have a tough draw though against a very athletic Louisville defense in this game. It's hard to look at the overall numbers for Mississippi State and carry them over into this game because the offense is so much different with Kateon Thompson instead of Fitzgerald. It weakens the stock of Aris Williams, who rushed for over 1,000 yards in the regular season. It also weakens the stock of the wide receivers. New head coach Joe Moorhead will likely run some practices with Thompson and have his eyes on the team from the press box. But the interim head coach is running backs coach Greg Knox. Mullen took his co-offensive coordinators with him to Gainesville, so the Bulldogs are operating at a pretty big deficiency in that regard in this game. Even with Nick Fitzgerald, Mississippi State averaged just 5.5 yards per play, but 5.2 yards per carry. As a result, the Bulldogs will rely heavily on the defense, much like they have done most of the season. The Bulldogs' defense was helped out tremendously by an offense that held the ball for an average of 33 minutes and 42 seconds. In the finale against Ole Miss, the Bulldogs had the ball for 37 and a half minutes and ran 94 offensive plays, but found a way to lose because of turnovers. The defense will face a much stiffer test facing somebody like Lamar Jackson. The Bulldogs allowed only 3.7 yards per carry and held opposing quarterbacks to a 51.6% passing rate, which was easily the best number in the last three seasons. The Bulldogs will follow the same playbook and stick with the old D.C. systems before giving way to new D.C. Bob Shoot. But Louisville knows those schemes and practiced against them a lot over the last two seasons with Jackson at the helm. With Nick Fitzgerald, our number would have been around Louisville minus two. Without him, this may not be a big enough adjustment, especially with the coaching situation at Mississippi State factored into the equation. The Bulldogs should be in good shape going forward with Moorhead, but the slate will be wiped clean after this game. Perhaps the players really like Greg Knox, but finding an answer for Lamar Jackson will not be easy. Our pick and prediction is for the Louisville Cardinals at minus seven. Click over now to BetDSI.com to get $100 free. When you sign up with the deposit today, you can get a 100% deposit bonus. That's $200 in betting action for just 100 bucks. Start making cash right now with NFL or NCAA football betting. BetDSI.com has all your favorite sports to bet on today.